Well, two businesses in Wasco went up in flames early this morning, destroying them and nearly a dozen cars. 23 ABC's North County reporter Camilla Bastidas joins us live from Wasco tonight with more on why the firefight was so difficult for crews. Camilla? Erin, I'm live on 7th Street, and as you can see behind me, these are the two businesses that burned to the ground, costing $1 million in damages. This is what fire crews faced at 3.30 Wednesday morning. Flames jumping as high as 50 feet in the air. Julie Hauser shot this video as fire destroyed the strip mall on 7th Street in Wasco. There were extremely loud noises, explosions. They had to quarantine the area, make every wind scoot back to, to, for our safety. By 10 o'clock, fire crews were still trying to put out hot spots. It's a very long process to get in there safely, make sure our personnel doesn't get hurt, so it's very time consuming. Find the hidden fires, make sure everything's put out completely. The fire moved so quickly that crews could do little but try to protect other nearby businesses. A beauty salon and an auto shop with at least seven cars were completely scorched. We just try to preserve what businesses are left. In this case, we had Domino's Pizza next door, so we made entry in there and made sure that that business was protected. Now you can still see flames, I'm sorry, you can still see smoke coming out from the businesses. The fire is still under investigation. Fortunately, people were not in the business when the fire happened, so nobody was injured. Live in Wasco, Camilla Bastidas, 23 ABC.